because I'd been to these lectures by Dirac, the great quantum physicist Dirac, and he'd taught us about two component spinners, which was quite interesting because his famous equation is what's called four component spinners, but you can build them up out of these simpler entities. And I thought they were wonderful. I must say, I liked his lectures on that. A lot of people didn't like his lectures because they said it's just like his book. But um, I, I hadn't read his book. <laughs> so I thought his lectures were great. And particularly learning about these two spinners. I thought, well, why don't I apply these two spinners to general relativity? And the thing sort of worked so beautifully that I got stuck in the, in the subject. It, 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 particularly the, 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 the curvature, the space-time curvature, you see the curvature splits into two parts. One is the vacuum part, and the other is the matter part. And the matter part is what people usually talk about as the right-hand side of Einstein's equations. And that, but there's the other part, which comes from the gravity itself, which is the, called the vial curvature. And this is comp complicated in normal descriptions. But when you write it in these two spinners, it comes out beautifully, completely symmetrical object. And this really started me off on general relativity.